Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. Female who was hiding with Jamaica's Most Wanted now in custody. A female who was held at the guest house with Jamaica's Most Wanted, but of Boxer Shaw and his crony were hiding before they were fatally shot by cops, have been taken into custody. Police said two firearms were also recovered from the facility located off Mullines Road. Police said a manhunt was launched for Shaw after he escaped from the Central Kingston Police Lockup on Thursday. Police in a post on their social media page said that Shaw, since he went on the run, has been the subject of intense surveillance and tracking. Investigators said they were later able to identify that Shaw was holding up at a guest house. Reports are that when the police team swooped down on the location, they were greeted with gunfire. In the end, Shaw and another man were shot and injured, the police high command stated in the post. They were taken to a medical facility where they were pronounced dead. 1.45 pistol and a 9mm pistol were seized. One woman who was in their company was arrested and taken into custody. According to the police, a joint anti-gang task force and other police units have been pursuing Shaw in Jamaica before, but he was able to escape capture before leaving the country by boat. Reports are that Shaw surfaced in the Cayman Islands in July. A manhunt was launched after coordination between law enforcement agencies in Jamaica and Cayman. Reports were that on July 8, personnel from the Cayman Islands Firearm Response Unit approached a vehicle where two occupants, one of whom was Shaw. The two men attempted to elude the cops by ramping into the police vehicle, rendering their vehicle immobile. Shaw was apprehended by police, but the other man fled on foot. In the comprobing death of three men in shootout with security forces, the Independent Commission of Investigations in the COM has commenced a probe into the fatal shooting of three men and the inquiry of a soldier at an illegal party in settlement Trelawney on Saturday morning. Those killed have been identified as 21-year-old Dushin Clegghorn, 26-year-old Trevor Ryan, otherwise called Beanie or Tele, and 23-year-old Oshin Surgeon, otherwise called Primento. The police say about 2.15 a.m., a joint security team carried out an operation at premises when an illegal party was in session. It is alleged that the lawmen were fired upon by a group of armed men at the venue. The joint security team took evasive action and returned the fire. When the shooting subsided, Cleghorn Rind and Surgeon were discovered suffering from gunshot wounds. They were transported to the Falmouth Hospital, where they were pronounced dead. The police say three semi-automatic pistols, along with 17 rounds of ammunition, were taken from the men. A member of the Jamaica Defense Force was also shot in his arm during the exchange of gunfire. He was also rushed to hospital, where he was treated and admitted in stable condition. NCB ATM Banking Services to temporarily go out of service on Sunday. Customers of the National Commercial Bank NCB are being told to brace for some inconvenience this Sunday as the financial organization carries out upgrade of its system. The upgrade will see personal and online banking in Jamaica, Cayman and Trinidad going out of service for several hours. News of the development was posted on the bank's social media page. We are working on banking services across our network on Sunday, October 9, the post from the bank outlined. It means that between 12 a.m. and 5 a.m. this Sunday, you will have limited or no access to online applications across our websites, personal and business online banking in Jamaica, Cayman and Trinidad. The NCB Mobile and NCB CM World Connect apps, debit card transactions, our point of sale and ABM machine, link services, self-service via interaction voice response system, customer care center. The bank will also advise that its customer care center may be available during the period of upgrade. Police probe suspected murder-suicide in St. James. The St. James police are probing what is suspected to be a murder-suicide in the parish on Friday night. Dead are 42-year-old Ila Rosa of Paradise Heights in St. James and a woman whose identity remains unknown, the police reported. According to the Corporate Communications Unit of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, lawmen were alerted to a house in Paradise Heights community about 7.30 Friday evening after residents reportedly heard a woman crying for help. On their arrival, Russell was seen lying on his veranda with a stab wound to his upper body while the woman was seen lying on her back. Reporters were unable to ascertain whether she was also stabbed. They were both taken to a nearby Colonel Regional Hospital where they were pronounced dead. 
West Maryland man who used postal services to export ganja convicted. A West Maryland man who attempted to use the postal service to ship ganja to Canada was convicted in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court on Monday. Alton Anderson, 49, from Revival District in the parish, pleaded guilty to 66 counts of breaches of the Dangerous Drug Act and was remanded until January 9, 2023. Anderson appeared before the court charged with 22 counts of possession of ganja, 22 counts of dealing in ganja, and 22 counts of attempting to export ganja. Allegations are that Anderson attempted to use the Jamaica Postal Services to ship 22 parcels with ganja, volume more than 1 million to Canada over a two-year period. An investigation was launched and the accused man was arrested by narcotics detectives during an operation on September 22nd in Westmoreland. Investigations say they are other allegations against Anderson regarding eight additional gun seizures detected by the police since January this year. The police say they are urging members of the public to desist from attempting to use a postal or other courier services to export drug as it is a criminal offence. Mental Health Chat Line for Youth passes 1,000 sessions landmark. The Ministry of Health and Wellness is reporting that the Youth Matter Mental Health Chat Line, which serves Jamaican's youth, has passed the 1,000 sessions landmark. A free and anonymous counseling service, the chat line has been in operation for six months and is designed to address the widespread mental health challenges facing Jamaican youth. The 1,000 sessions milestone is noteworthy just ahead of the World Mental Health Day on October 10, the ministry said in a news release on Saturday. You Matter was launched on March 22 by the ministry in collaboration with the United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, via its youth report, Youth Messaging Service, and the Caribbean Child Development Center, CCDC, at the University of the West Indies Open Campus. Through this partnership, the chat line is being facilitated and steered to ensure that support needed by Jamaican youth is no more than one text message away. I am delighted to see that you matter is gaining traction among youth. By its very name, we want them to know that what is on their minds does indeed matter and that there is a means to get support, said the Health and Wellness Minister, Dr. Christopher Tufton. So far, 89% of the users indicated that they would contact you matter again and 86% would recommend the service to a friend. Research shows that one in every four Jamaican students has considered suicide. Up to 60% of those treated at hospitals for attempted suicides are adolescents and young people under age 24. Poll conducted by UNICEF through U-Report, which currently has more than 13,500 young subscribers, called U-Report, support this evidence. In 2018 poll, 53% of the respondents said they had considered suicide. The name you matter was also decided by asking your reporters to suggest and vote on their preferred name for the service. People's state of mind is central to many issues we have in Jamaica. It leads to many of us as youth turning to violence and especially during the pandemic with added stress like school closure, poverty and abuse. As part of the U Report Youth Council, I'm glad to have this opportunity to help guide the service and it's inspiring to know that some of our trained youth matter counselors are also in their 20s, noted Rena and Robinson 20, a member of the U Report Youth Council Advisory Group. Volunteers who applied to train as youth matter counselors were sourced from the Jamaica Psychological Society and other counseling programs. They are supervised and trained by the team at CCDC, which has experience operating helpline services in Jamaica. Currently, two cohorts of counselors have been on board, which are trying to begin training in November. We have been fortunate to see that this sustainable model, combining text counseling and volunteer counselors, is working in Jamaica. We are also fortunate to have volunteer counselors committed and able to listen and guide our users. We need to remember that people are the experts in their own lives and our role is to help to guide them towards finding their own solutions and recommend them to appropriate services, said Cicimento, head of the CCDC and director of the Continuum of Social Development and Research at the University of the West Indies Open Campus. You can connect with a U Matter counselor by messaging the word support to U Report at 876 838 4897 on WhatsApp and SMS free for flow customers or at U Report Jamaica on Instagram or message Facebook. Please remember. 
to subscribe, like, share, and click the